Hi everyone! Recently a friend of mine had an Usborne Books and More Facebook party and it was a lot of fun and I, you know, I'm somewhat familiar with Usborne Books. Um, we used them when I was homeschooling a little bit and, but I hadn't really looked at their stuff in years and uh, I wasn't aware of all the really awesome things that they have. So in this party uh, the consultant showed us all kinds of great things that they offer not only for homeschoolers but for um, everything from babies to every single stage, um, extra learning activities, fun stuff and just it was amazing and I was totally hooked so I made an order and um, I will probably be having another order coming up soon. So this is an order that includes things for infants since my daughter is one month old and it also includes some things for early preschool and homeschooling. Yes, I know it's a little early to get those things but I really, really wanted them. And you never really know when things go out of stock or when things go out of print and so there were some things that I really wanted to grab just to have. Um, also, you know, just like everything, homeschooling supplies are not cheap. <laughs> so it is something that you have to invest in and buying a little bit at a time, just like I did with baby stuff, is a little bit more feasible for us than upfront purchasing the whole thing at one time. So this is a little bit of what I got. First off, I did get some board books. These are the Usborne Touchy Feely books, and they are super cute. This is That's Not My Frog. They're textured books, so they have different things that the kids can touch, and it's just really cute. So that is one of them. I also got That's Not My Kitten. You know we love cats, and we have a cat theme in our house. <laughs> So that is super cute and she's going to have a lot of fun with the different <coughs> with the different textures as she grows older. I also got this set. This is the baby's very first little black and white library. And these are tiny little books. There's one animals, babies, going out and faces. And these are great for like the diaper bag and just grabbing on the go. But they are high contrast black, white, red, you know, and then some different colors thrown in there um, of just different words for animals and everything else here. So these are super cute, going to be great little books for Maddie very soon. She loves to focus on things that are black and white, so these are perfect for her. Next, I splurged on this. Um, <laughs> I've mentioned before, Maddie has very long piano fingers, um, and we have several pianists in our family, so I have already gotten a couple things to help her um, do music, and specifically keyboards, in her early childhood. This is the Usborne My First Keyboard book. It has a little battery in the back. And this is the little keyboard that actually works. And there's the little dots. And the pages have the different colored dots that they correspond with to make, to play songs. How cute is that? Um, so this was a little bit expensive, but it was something that I thought would be really neat because we definitely want to focus a lot on music in her early years. This was my major big homeschooling splurge. Um, I got two sets for homeschooling. This is the very first reading set. And this set I had no idea about, but I um, they shared a video on it and I was like, that is the coolest thing ever for kids learning to read. And since we are homeschooling, uh, this is going to be a huge help um, with our curriculum for learning to read. So it has actually 15 books in it and I'm not going to go into the whole details because I don't exactly know but I know 1 through 8 are um, I believe books where you read, uh, the adult reads on this side 
and the child reads on this side. And then, if I remember right here, books 9 through 15. Get it out. Um, the child reads all on their own. So it kind of helps them learn and kind of go through the different stages. Uh, there is a little note to the parents in the front. There are puzzles in the back. And so it's just kind of like a workbook and a textbook all in one. And so it's this big, huge set. Oh, and there's also the parent's guide um, to it as well. So I think that is just really cool and we will definitely get a lot of use out of this. The next set that I bought for homeschooling is the Esborn White Clean set. And um, I believe they, I'm not sure if they have different ones or if this was the starter set or I can't remember exactly what it was called, um, but it does give a little discount instead of buying them individually. And so this set came with, well, first of all, white clean books. These are awesome. The pages are that shiny uh, texture, and so it comes with a white clean pen. I also have heard that you can use white clean crayons. Um, somebody said you can get them at Office Depot. I still need to look into that. Um, I wonder if they're kind of similar to like bath crayons, but I'm not sure. I think that would be perfect for really early childhood and then moving up to the marker. <laughs> but this one is white clean one, two, threes. They're high colors. Um, just a lot of fun. I just, oh my gosh, I would love to do this. <laughs> um, but so there's the numbers. There's ready for writing. Um, so it's just learning the different lines and circles and triangles. Then there's mazes. This is super cool. Pen control. I mean, look at that. How awesome. First numbers. I think that's really cool. First letters. So that helps them learn to write their letters. First drawing, more pen control. And the alphabet. So the different, all the letters of the alphabet, not just first letters. I think first letters is about letter shapes. Um, and then this is the whole alphabet. And then there's another one that I bought separately that wasn't in there, and that's beginning pen control for very young children to begin to learn uh, pen control. So those I am so excited about. They're a little bit of a splurge, but um, I think they're going to be so worth it, and I think she's going to love these. Uh, perfect for preschool and kindergarten. The next three books that I got are paperback phonics readers, and these are just cute little stories that help kids learn phonics. So there's Fox on a Box, Llamas in Pajamas, and Raccoon on the Moon. And there are a whole ton of these, and there are again sets of tons and tons of these. <sighs> I couldn't afford the set, I just <laughs> got a couple of them this time, but they're just really cute cute little stories, uh, super adorable, got like flaps, just really, really cute and great for learning phonics. Um, they had some specials that if for every like certain amount that you spent, you could get a book for like $5. And so this was one of the specials, my first Spanish word book, and it's actually a large word book. And it has just all of these different words in Spanish. I did not learn Spanish. I did German, um, <laughs> which 
is great, but uh, has no practical value for me. So we probably will be doing Spanish with Maddie. Uh, and I thought this was really cool to maybe get a little bit of a head start. Um, my husband knows a little bit of Spanish, so maybe he can do this with her and that'll be kind of a little bonding thing for them. I did splurge also on one picture book. I normally don't buy picture books full price, especially hardcovers, uh, because they are so expensive. But this one is so cute. And um, yeah, it's called A Tale of Two Beasts, and it's about helping kids learn perspective. And I haven't read it yet, but it just it looks really really cute and I've heard people talk about it um, it has the story from the little girl's perspective and the story from I'm not sure if this is a little monsters perspective or something so it just looks really really adorable and oh my gosh so cute oh the beast it's a little beast that's what it is ah, so that was really cute and then the final things that I got, I did not get these in a set, but I got six sticker books. And similar to the white clean books, these are really, really neat, and I just cannot wait for these. Um, first, I got the first dot to dot animals, and it also has stickers in it. So it's got dot to dots, and then there are some pages of stickers. And this isn't actually a sticker book. Uh, this is just a regular paper, but it has stickers in it. So that's really cute for preschool. Uh, the rest of these are actual sticker books. And so they kind of have, it's not the same white clean uh, pages, but it is a little bit shiny. It's not just like regular paper. And so I don't think that the stickers are restickable or anything like that, but it, there are lots of stickers in here and it just looks like a lot of fun. So this is Shapes. And then all of these, um, these are all under the Get Ready for School category. This is Alphabet. So similar to the white clean ones, it's all um, about the different shapes and colors and letters. First numbers. stickers and first colors. <laughs> I mean, how cute is that? So adorable. Love it. And then the final one was just for fun, dress the teddy bears. They have a whole bunch of these. Um, there's like a Christmas one and a shopping one. This is just the first one. Um, so there's over 200 stickers in here. They had to dress the bears. How cute! I love that. That is so, so adorable. I think that is so cute. Um, we have a teddy bear, a teddy bear activity book that my sister and I had when we were in preschool and just adored it. And so I had, I had to get this. Super cute. So that is everything that I got in my Usborne Books in More order. Uh, like I said, I probably will be, I'm doing a party for some of my friends in a few weeks and so I'll probably have another order coming but I am so glad that I got back into it and kind of checked out some of the stuff that they have because they have great stuff for homeschooling and enrichment and activities and like activity packs and all kinds of stuff so I definitely will be getting more stuff from them in the future. Uh, so if you have ever gotten an order from Usborne let me know what your favorite books are. Um, they have so many things I can't even possibly have looked at half of the stuff that they have, so let me know what your favorites are. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!